Hello <clears throat> from Slovenia again, so sorry. Today I will do a split cup pour again. Uh, I'm using a sp split cup from paint pour store that has a handle and this lid that it doesn't, you know, drip and they clean well. So I love them. You have link down in description box and discount code if you will type when you will check out Fiona 15 you will get 15% off and I have this deep edged canvas you see it's deep pretty deep uh, and I have rainbow colors today and first I will try to just do a, a straight for a straight pour from really high uh, that I will get some kind of you know blending with colors and then I will come a little closer and slower to get some featherings or something so this is my plan for today and my canvas is 12 by 16 inch and I will use magenta this is Vallejo brand and I have Windsor & Newton cadmium orange I will just fill out these seven chambers and I have Amsterdam primary yellow been a while since I used rainbow colors and I have Amsterdam brilliant green my whoop it's a bug, 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 booger my hands are kind of shaking today and primary cyan there's a summer in cyan this is Siam. I love this song and this is Windsor and Newton Windsor Blue and because this Windsor Blue is kind of dark I chose to use Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet for a violet not dark violet kind of have to add a little more of this too I think and I have <clears throat> titanium white for a flow extender mixed here and this is my consistency it's not thin it's not thick it leaves a mound but disappears quite quickly see leaves a little mound so as I said, first I will pour from up high, kind of straight. I hope that it that this is is on camera. Ooh, I believe that it will be so. Just a second. Maybe like that for this part. So let's and maybe I will add just some white flow extender here where I will start pouring kind of straight down okay let's pour some rainbow on canvas
I will torch this a little bit because when I poured from up high, I got some cells from the gravitation, you see? And I will grab a skewer and try to add some lines, I think. I kind of want to bring this part through here in a way to connect this, I believe. I really like that part with uh, straight pour a lot. So my next project will be the whole painting look that it will look like that. So let me take you down for a close up. Here it is. This is the part that I was talking about. Just a second to go in here. See the blending of the colors are just gorgeous, I think. And all those cells that they are beard because I poured from up high. They are so beautiful. And this is this side. side Ooh. and featherings here I believe that I prefer just a straight pour from up high but these lines here are beautiful too and I believe that it will be a beautiful painting anyway not quite happy with this part but kind of like the the 
ribbons here where you see see this is from the straight pour too so these two parts I want to recreate let's see what will happen if I will do that so if you want to see that you will have to check my next video uh, but anyhow if you will or not if you watch that one thanks for watching Bye.